Hey, how's it going? In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the various factors that led to the cancellation of one of the most unique and interesting Cartoon Network shows, Sheep in the Bit City. Today's video was requested by a cartoon gal who tagged me in a post on Twitter. So let's begin. Cue the intro. <laughs> Sheep in the Bit City was created by Mo Willems. Before creating Sheep in the Bit City, he worked as a writer and animator for the world famous series Sesame Street, where he also earned six Emmy Awards for his writing. He originally started his career doing stage comedy in the 1980s, but he had dreams on being an artist. Willems stated in a 2001 interview, his desire as a kid was to find a way to be funny and draw, and animation turned out to be the best way for him to do that. Willems went to the Tisch University of Art in New York. This is where he created his first animation short, The Man Who Yelled. The Man Who Yelled, an animated film by me, Mo Willems. I was in this coffee shop and this man walked in and yelled <coughs> and left. The next day, I went to the bank and the man walked in again and yelled <coughs> and left. That's when I got the idea. I gave the man five dollars to go to a party I was having that night and yell. Ah! He was a big hit. After graduating from the university, Williams began making short films for Sesame Street and writing for the Muppets. He also worked on Nickelodeon's short form animated series, The Offbeats. Right around the time it seemed that Nickelodeon wasn't planning on making any more shorts for the offbeats, Williams randomly got a call from the Cartoon Network executives. The executives asked him if he had any ideas for a cartoon that he liked to pitch. Williams thought to himself that he probably could make a series based on either superheroes or something based on space. The execs came to New York to discuss the ideas that Williams wanted to pitch. Once they sat down, they told him they couldn't wait to hear what he had to say, but they had two rules. First rule, they didn't want anything with superheroes, and the second rule was nothing space related. After hearing the rules that the execs made, Williams thought that this was going to be the worst pitch of his career. So instead of talking about the specifics, he talked about the type of shows that he wanted to do. Him and the execs went out to dinner and talked about what they liked and what kind of cartoons were fun to make. After that conversation, the idea of a sheet being in the show somehow came out of it. Want to know what the critics are saying about sheep in the big city? <laughs> Entertainment Weekly calls it fast-paced fun. What did he say? He just bleed it. Sophisticated, says Us Weekly. Sheep is wild and woolly, raves variety. The New York Times says sheep will make it in the city. Sheep in the big city, Friday at 9.30, only on Cartoon Network. Sheep in the Bit City premiered on Cartoon Network on August 18th in 2000. The Cartoon Network series revolves around the life of a sheep who's voiced by Kevin Seals that lived a happy life on a farm with his friends. This was until a secret military organization needed sheep for a sheep power ray gun. Which I gotta say is kinda weird, why would you design a ray gun that needed a sheep as an energy source? I know, I know. Just go with it. This military organization is led by General Specific, who is also voiced by Kevin Seals. After trying to capture Sheep, Sheep escapes to the Bit City, where he lives throughout the series. In the Bit City, Sheep not only stays safe from General Specific and his henchman, Private Public, who is voiced by James Godwin, Sheep also has to deal with a busy life for the Bit City. Even with all the craziness going on, Sheep also tries to romance his love, Swanky the Poodle, while also trying to deal with Swanky's owner, Lady Richington, who is voiced by Stephanie D'Abrizzo. Get you lovely sheep! I can't get! 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 Stay away from my valuable doggy! In various episodes of the series, Sheep does many remarkable things and goes through a variety of experiences such as traveling through time, being an actor in a dishwashing commercial, getting a job at a club, and making a living by jumping over fences for insomniac. This is not helping!
Willems explained that the art style was inspired by Pablo Picasso and the comedy in Sheep in the Big City was based off the 1960s series Monty Python's Flying Circus and also Rocky and Bullwinkle and that even the Angry Scientist is based off of Basil Fawlty. The characters in Sheep in the Big City also have a habit of breaking the fourth wall pretty frequently and the episode in this series is always narrated by a guy named Ben Platts who's voiced by Ken Shots. How did you get here so fast? We used the plot device! Hello. Quickly, before the freeze frame, get that sheep! What do you mean the sheep-powered ray gun isn't ready for sheep? I never thought you would be actually catching this one sheep. It's so contrary to the whole setup of the show. Sheep in the Bit City's first season had only 13 episodes. The second season of Sheep in the Bit City ran from December 2nd, 2001 to April 7th, 2002. It also consists of 13 episodes. The premiere of Sheep in the Bit City was one of the highest rated premieres for a Cartoon Network original series. However, Cartoon Network canceled the series after two seasons. The final episode of the second season was titled Behind the Scenes. Although people found Sheep in the Bit City to be funny, smart, and a fresh show for its time, Sheep in the Bit City couldn't meet the viewership threshold. And around that time, Cartoon Network had a surplus of shows to pick from. So getting rid of a show that didn't really get any views or make any money wasn't a hard choice. So Cartoon Network decided to cancel Sheep in the Bit City after the second season was completed. And Mo Williams went on to write for another Cartoon Network series called Codename Kids Next Door. Williams will write for Codename Kids Next Door for the first four seasons. Sheep in the Bit City was replaced with an extra episode of the Powerpuff Girls on a Friday night time slot and will only air on TV at 6 o'clock in the morning during the weekdays. Mo Williams went on to become an award-winning children's book writer. Unfortunately, Kevin Seals, the voice of Sheep in general specific, left the industry and hasn't returned after the passing of his late wife. Ken Shots, the voice of Ben Platts, has started his very own acting studio in New York called the Ken Shots Studio. Stephanie Diabritso, the voice of Lady Richington, is starring in an upcoming series called Don Quixote. At the time of me making this video, it hasn't came out yet. And the voice of Private Public, James Godwin, is starring the Sesame Street live show. As always, we end Sheep in the Big City with a ranting Swede! It makes me so mad! Why do people call these meatballs? They're not balls! A ball you can play with! The ball is round and fun! A ball bouncy bouncy bouncy! This, it, it goes to pieces if you try to hit it with a tennis racket! It doesn't even hurt if you kick it! These are meat lumps! These are lumps, not the balls! I can't understand that! And these are my own people doing this! I hang my head in shame! Thank you, ranting Swede!